I'm Dan Riskin. There's a new report out from the Royal Botanic Gardens Q showing that 40% of plant species in the world are threatened with extinction. And that's a striking number because they had a similar report in 2016 and what they found then was that 20% of plants were threatened with extinction. This is double that number. Now, the good news is that it probably doesn't mean things have gotten twice as bad. It just means we know more about what the situation is. New, pl new plant species are being discovered all the time. And as these scientists like to point out, you can't say whether something's endangered if you don't even know it's there. But just how many plants are there out there and how many new ones are they finding? The number is actually very striking. If you try to imagine how many plants are discovered in a given year, like just try to guess, say a number out loud, is it 10? new kinds of plants that they found in 2019? Was it 100? The real number is 1,942. That's how many plants they discovered in one year alone. And that brings the total to close to 350,000 different kinds of plants. This was a huge study, 210 scientists, 97 different institutions, 42 different countries. And what they were able to show is that the threats to all of these plants and fungi are coming from specific places. The threats come from agriculture. So when you cut down a big forest to put up a farm, you replace a whole bunch of biodiversity with just one species that you're growing a monoculture of. That hurts biodiversity. Um, harvesting, so people going into natural areas to take plants and use them for clothing, for food, for, uh, for firewood, to build things out of. That's another big threat. And then the other big threat is development. So when you turn natural areas into places where humans can live or put their companies, uh, you lose natural areas and that hurts biodiversity as well. So if you just look at those three threats, agriculture, harvesting, and development, that makes up two thirds of the threats to plants. And you know, the scientists point out a bunch of different possible solutions. They point out that there's a lot of different plants we could be eating that we're not eating. We get 90% of our calories from 15 different plant species, but there are thousands of plants that we could be eating. Um, they also point out that there are a lot of medic medicinal plants that we don't even know about yet that could be economically beneficial and that we haven't patented very many plants. Plants give us much more than just food and medicine. They regulate climate, they suck up carbon to help with uh, climate change, they filter water, they protect against flooding, they give us clothing. Plants do a whole bunch of other things, but I think, you know, the biggest thing that plants provide is that they're awesome. Plants are just really nice to have around. They're beautiful and that has a value as well. So with any luck, people will take this finding from the uh, Royal Botanic Gardens Q and remember that plants need to be protected just like panda bears and all the charismatic animals.